Hey, good morning. This is Alderwoman Maria Haddon, Alderwoman of the 49th Ward. Um, just wanted to take a few quick moments to give you some updates on Chicago efforts for uh, mitigating COVID-19 or the novel coronavirus. Um, so one, most importantly, we're doing daily updates. You get the most important info and guidance um, and contact um, through our website. So that's chicago.gov forward slash coronavirus. Again, that's chicago.gov forward slash coronavirus. Um, most important place, I think, please check this frequently for updates. You're going to find the most information. Um, two, if you are sick, if you're not feeling well, if you're, you've got a fever, you're coughing, sneezing, if you think you've been exposed to someone with COVID-19 um, and you need to call your, if you've got health insurance, call your medical provider. Um, call them in advance before showing up. If it's an emergency, if this is something that you would normally go to the emergency room for, please go to the emergency room, call 911, seek emergency medical attention. Um, if you're not at the point where you think you need to go see a doctor, if you've got questions, you're not sure you've been exposed or you think you're exhibiting symptoms, you can call um, 311. So call 311, the city of Chicago. They will route you to our Chicago Department of Public Health. We've got medical staff um, working 24 seven. They will talk to you and give you guidance um, if you're not sure about medical attention. So those important pieces out of the way. A couple more reminders for our community. Um, so one, when it comes to supplies, groceries, toilet paper, um, hand sanitizer, know that lots of people are getting nervous, people are stocking up. What I would ask is that get the supplies that you need, but please don't hoard supplies. So whether it's the, the masks, the toilet paper, um, disinfectant wipes, know that um, other people in the community need these things as well. Please don't take more than you need. Um, two, um, we need folks to take this seriously. Um, I've seen some comments on the post of people talking about, oh, there's only so many cases or, oh, you know, the mortality rate's really low. Um, all these things may be true. And if you don't feel concerned about it, maybe just trust the thousands of other people around you. Take our advice. Wash your hands. If you're sick, stay home. Cover your mouth when you sneeze. Um, up your hygiene game because if you're not worried about getting sick because you're a pretty physically healthy person not in a vulnerable category fantastic we need you to do these hygiene things so that you're not getting other people sick um, so this is about protecting other folks in the community as much as it's about protecting yourself um, three I know folks have a lot of concerns about why Chicago public schools are still open. We saw a lot of schools around us closing um, today. Many of our neighboring states have suspended schools. Um, know that um, because of deep inequities and racism in our system, um, we're left with a, a situation where so many of our Chicago public school students are living in poverty that they rely on our schools to be open for meals. Um, some of them rely on our schools to be open because it's the only place they have to go. And so know that we're evaluating the situation day by day and also working to make sure that we're not doing more harm than good by closing our schools. Um, so know that we're trying to work on how we're going to feed people, how we're going to make sure kids get education and resources, and of course, how we're going to make sure we're not just thinking about the children in the school, but the staff and the people who have to support them and the families that take care of these children. Um, so look for continuing updates on that. The situation will be evaluated kind of pretty regularly. Last but not least, I just want to say that um, I believe in our residents in the 49th Ward. I know that Rogers Park is going to do its part. Um, so we're from the 49th Ward office in communication with our community organizations, our nonprofits, religious institutions, nursing homes, and um, doing outreach for small businesses to make sure that we're trying to anticipate as many of the negative impacts um, that we may see come in the future um, and make some plans for it of how we can set up systems to take better care of one another. Um, so everything is, is kind of changing daily. Um, please stay tuned for updates. I'll do probably more frequent video posts about this and um, also make sure you're subscribed to the newsletter. So if you go to 49thward.org, that's 49thward.org, you can sign up for the newsletter if you're not already subscribed um, and we'll be sending out more updates there. Last but not least, um, don't forget primary election day is Tuesday. Um, 
we have had many changes to polling places um, because of uh, institutions taking precaution to prevent the spread of coronavirus. Um, so the best thing you can do is go vote early. Um, so if you haven't already voted, um, if you plan on voting, please go vote. Vote early in our area. You can head over to Pottawatomie Park. Um, you can go to uh, chicagoelections.gov for more information about um, election and voting options. And that's the best place to go also if you plan on voting on election day to just re-verify polling place. Um, we're working with the ward committee person um, and our state rep, Kelly Cassidy, as well as a lot of volunteers to make sure um, that we're coordinating with the board of elections to keep information updated. Um, we'll be doing signage and also providing some extra protections for um, voters and election judges on election day. So thank you all for your attention and your time. Um, again, we're going to get through this together. Um, have a great Friday.